Said Maasai, hey, I have the honor of your tribe. I tell you why. I met two Maasai and I jumped higher than both of them. Serious, wow. brother. Right? Serious. So I have to find I have to find a Maasai who can jump higher than me. <laughs> we, we should jump. Because if you can jump higher, you'll get your honor back. Because I have the honor of the Maasai right now. <laughs> Are you not a big jumper? No, I'm not. Oh. I first a guy, I beat a guy, and then a girl, she was mad. We jumped, jump, 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 and then I got her. Didn't she? I went too high. So I got her. Okay, so another Maasai. Another Maasai, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi. What did the Maasai do? What did the Maasai do? Yeah. Have you have you killed a lion? No. Are you going to? No, that's that's for men. Okay. Men do that. But if you have a son, do you think he'll kill a lion and drink blood? Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Fine, thank you. What about you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear my vertical jump, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna go to Masai Mara and I'm gonna give them money, anyone who can beat me. Or if someone can beat me, I'll pay them. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work my vertical jump. Because look, the Maasai jump three feet. But if you watch Billy, if you watch, what's that show with The Rock, the football show? I can't remember the name. Those dudes are jumping six feet, bro. So if I was going to the NFL, I was pretty, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to jump higher than the NFL guys, but the Maasai guys only jumping three feet. I think I can jump higher than that. So yeah, there you go. Right, let's go for a wonder. My brother. Yes. YouTube. You're on YouTube. Which tribe are you from? I'm from Kalinji. Kalinji. Yeah. So that's that's far away. He's far away from home. Okay. Far away. You're far away, right? Far of away. Of course, of course. Lord. Yeah, from family. Nice guy. You're a lovely guy. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm welcome again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See my head. <laughs> See you, brother. Enjoy All right. Let's have a let's have a wander. So this guy's Congolese, right? And he's like, oh, I'll tell him I was downtown. He's like, man, I went downtown, right? And the cops got me, and they took me for this massive walk, and I had to pay them. And I was like. He goes, and I'm black, bro. Yes, I don't know what they did to you. Uh, cops didn't know to me, mate, because I wouldn't pay them. I'm off. There's no way I pay them. No way, zero chance. You're not sure. Mm. If you are not sure, why not you take the smaller ones? Mm. This, so this big one's 18,000. 1,000. How much? I said 18. 18,000, yeah. Yes. 18. Okay. Um. It's African king and queen. Okay. She said four. She said four is killing price. 18 is killing price to me. Uh, so I'm a four, you're at 18. Yes. So where, where can we meet? Can we meet at the 16? Well, that's not really meeting. That's just you. Just, no, it's not really meeting. So. Where mm. can we meet now? Mm. Four, 200. Four, 200. 200. <laughs> that's too kidoko. That's too kidoko. Where can we meet? I'm at four. What's your highest price? How much you mad at? Five. You mad at this here in any? Five. Five. That's two. Okay. That's two. What's your best price? My best price for that one is fifteen. What's your best best price? Fifteen thousand. Oh, that's your best price. I need your best best price. My best best. Best but I've already had your best price, so I want your best best price. The best price is the price we negotiate, we meet together. Mm. That's the best we can do. Okay. Because we don't have fixed prices. 15,000. Mm. Uh, and you, what, what's your best best best? Uh, let me see what that is in dollars, one sec. It's $150. Yeah. Come on, mate, that's ridiculous. If that's you want to make this up, that's $150, mate. My friend, okay. What is it? What is it? Okay. These, these pieces with these small ones. Can you see the quality of it? See $150. Yes. Mm. See the quality of it. Not the same as the small ones. The pieces and mm. everything. And even the handwork. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it. That's too much for me. $150. Okay, what's your highest price? Well, that's, that's a bit crazy. So, 150 Not crazy, my friend. What's your best best price? I gave you my best best price. 4000 well, Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. Not even these small ones. Okay. All right. Thank you. One hundred fifty bucks for a chess set. Relax, mate. That's six dollars in Kmart, mate. Bro, it's this guy again. 
Đây Thôi rồi He hates me film man He hates me film Kid hates me film Good job, bro. Nice place. I'm going to Matata. I'm going to you, brother. Yeah, I'm going to Matata. You're what? Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I saw someone who's behind me. I'm up, boy. I collect plastic. Good for you, brother. I collect plastic. Yeah? Yeah. Have a good day, brother. Yeah. Sorry, brother. You're a military Sorry. age. Sorry, bro. I have a nice day. You too. God bless you too, bro. Bro, he's a military age man, man. He's able body. You know, he, yeah. Not giving him money, man. Following you, you can just look at the GoPro and keep walking, and you see exactly who's behind you, right? And that's bloody great, mate. Don't, hard people to sneak up on you when you've got a GoPro on, right? Because you can see behind you, it's like a mirror. Hello. How are you? How are you, brother? Hi. Hello, how are you? So I did power cleans, and I did bench press, and I did flies, like I was hooking someone in the face. And uh, yeah, my shoulders are bloody bulging, mate. Check that out, my shoulders are bulging. So uh, it's good. Oh, massage. Man, I've used massage. Oh, massage, brother. Let's go here. <sighs> Man, I could use a massage on my back, but I'm not going inside my apartment block. I'm trying to look some massage. In Africa, zero chance of that, mate. Go through security, go up these apartment blocks, so is this the massage? Nah. And then it's a scam, or uh, there's no way I'm not doing that. As far as scams and danger, Africa is like Asia on steroids, man. It's just the scams, the danger. It's just too dangerous, mate. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go see the Masai Mara. Probably bring Samson, mate. I might bring Jessica here, to be honest with you. It's a bit, it's a bit dangerous. Like, Samson can protect himself, Jessica can't. I don't know, mate. It seems a bit dangerous to me. So if I was downtown with Samson, I'd be stressed. I love that kid, right? But I'm downtown on my own. I'm a bit... When I'm on my own, I can be a bit more scrappy. You know what I mean? I can be a bit more... Yeah, let's go, mate. I was supposed to not... I was supposed to... I was diagnosed with terminal cancer, right? So... And I'm free now. But they reckon I only live past five years. So... I think I'm supposed to be a little extra scrappy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks for legs to scrappy. Who wants to die doing chemo, mate? Not me. I'd rather die at a knife fight downtown, mate. So, yeah. Check it out. How are you, bro? How are you? Hey, it's a cheap hotel, like $30 a night. I'm only staying here for a few hours. But, I, um... The people are lovely. The girl's like, the Maasai warriors in my tribe kill a lion and drink its blood. My like, damn girl, that's pretty gangster, mate. That's pretty gangster. <laughs> that's pretty gangster. Ciao, Stria. Jesus, get the crap out of me. So if you watch this channel, right, I'm an avid non-tipper, but here in Africa, I've been tipping because things are just dirt cheap, mate. And I just feel bad for these people, you know? So, yeah. Look, I'm not talking smack about uh, downtown. Like, uh, I've got to be honest with you, Alice Springs in Australia uh, and Townsville can be worse than downtown. Like Alice Springs, Cooper Pedy, those places are worse. Like, I took Jessica there. They're worse than downtown, mate, way worse. So, well, I know they're way worse, but they're as bad. They're as bad. So we do have places in Australia like that as well. It's not like, uh, Sydney's, you know, even Redfern. Like Redfern is a bit like downtown, same, same thing. You get a red phone, probably get the same thing in Sydney. I tell you what, I thought about doing when I was downtown, like uh, deodorant on a lighter, because it's like a flamethrower. Someone comes to you with a knife, you you have a flamethrower in your hand. You know what I mean? Deodorant on a lighter, you can light, you just light multiple dudes up with a, a deodorant can and a lighter. Oh, that sounds super violent, but the guy had a knife. I had nothing, so I was like, oh, I stood my ground, but we didn't engage each other in combat. But it's not good to. I'd probably be dead if we did. He had two mates with him, you know what I mean? Like, well, nah. Shit. So, yeah. 
This guy was telling me not even the cops go downtown. Not even the cops will go down there. They don't go down there. They very rarely go down there. So he's like, dude, the cops don't go down there and you're white and you're going down there. There's even some black people that won't go down there, you know? So he goes, well, you're white and you're going down there, you're crazy, man. So guys, I have some relationship drama, right? So I met this girl who she's a doctor and you know, I was stuck in the countryside. They wanted like hundreds of dollars to get out. I met this doctor, right? And um, you know, the, 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 the bride was like, listen, you can get a lift with this doctor, right? Uh, that was the girl who I got the lift with, right? She's a doctor. Anyway, so I've been chatting with her, right? And I'm like, because I, I stayed in a really dangerous place, like a super dangerous place, right? And this girl's like, mate, you're gonna get murdered, mate. And I took it. So this girl's like, mate, you're gonna get murdered. All those girls are like, mate, you're gonna get murdered. I took it as a bit of a dare. Anyway, this girl took my Facebook, right? And, and she's like, dude, tell me you're alive. So I'm like, yeah, I'm alive, I'm alive. And obviously I did get in a thing, someone had a knife and there was dramas and you know, white people just don't go to that area, right? Anyway, so story is, I've been messaging this girl back and forth. And obviously transparent with Jessica and this girl wants to come to Australia, maybe, like possibly, right? She's exploring possibilities. So I, I own a financial planning company and I do a lot of finance for doctors. We've got a massive network of doctors. So I'm like, mate, we could, you could be sponsored in a rural, sponsored by a doctor, or you go to a rural area. And it's all about connections in Australia, it's about who you know, right? And we know a lot of people, right? So I said, between me and the groom, if you wanted to come, I'm sure we could organize it for you, right? Like to get a sponsorship or whatever. Anyway, Jessica's mad, mate. Jessica's mad. She's like, you're helping this girl come to Australia, blah, 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 blah. I haven't seen this girl, so she dropped me off. I haven't seen her. I liked her, she was a good person. I mean, I didn't catch up for dinner or anything because I need just to hit the roof, right? So I haven't caught up with her. I'm leaving to India tonight, right? Jess is really mad, mate. She's like, oh, she's so mad. Anyway, look, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Like, I just, she was nice. The thing she offered me, she said, look, leave that hotel, come, you can stay at my house. So she's got a big house, so she's a doctor, blah, blah, blah. She was just kind to me, mate. So, and I was in a really bad area. I was, I was in a really bad area, right? So she was like, I'll help you out. Hello, mate. So she was like, I'll help you out. Anyway, that's the story. So I'm in the doghouse, mate. I'm in the doghouse. I'm going to India and I'm going to go see Jessica. And I'm like, love, I love you, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm not, I'm not doing anything. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm just trying to help this doctor come to Australia. But I'm in the doghouse, mate. So anyway, she's got to calm down. There's a massive tampo. But this is like a rage-filled tampo. And tampos when they get angry, this is like a rage-filled tampo. So yeah, but I don't know if it's right or wrong. But like when, no, 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 no. like I see the doc a doctor as a reverse of uh, someone who works in a bar. Like someone who's given their life to help people. And this girl does a lot of charity work. You know, she goes into the slums and stuff. And she's a good person, mate, you know what I mean? So she wants to come to Australia, she's got a kid. She wants to come to Australia, I'll help her, mate. Anyway, Jessica's angry at me, it's a story. So mate, there was a heap of bridesmaids, right? I didn't get any of that Facebook stuff, you didn't really communicate with them. Just stayed away from them, right? Now, this girl, the reason why I got Facebook is because she dropped me off in like, the middle of a murder town. And she's like, you need to tell me you're not going to be dead in like three hours, right? Anyway, this girl is mad at me as well because this girl thinks I'm crazy, right? This girl thinks I'm crazy because I stayed there to shoot a YouTube video. And these girls were going, dude, do not go to that part of town. Do not go to that part of town. And I was like, listen, bruh, I'm pretty street smart. I'll be all right. And, um, a guy threw me with a knife, but mate, you know, one thing to threaten, nothing to stab someone to take their life, you know what I mean? So, and I can say this, I'm not trying to be a tough guy, but if he'd come at me with that knife, I'd really come at me, right? Like try to, if he tried to engage me in combat, there's a good chance it wouldn't be me dying, right? So, um, so yeah, anyway. Um, like I was a bouncer for a lot of years, mate. It's not my first day, mate, you know? Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I'm not saying I'm a tough guy, but Look, if he comes at me with a knife, I'm six foot six, 100. I'm like 147 kilos now. I lost, I got here 158 and I'm 147 today. So I lost any 10 kilos in Africa. It's crazy. Where's the food? The food's different here. Um, and I'm in the doghouse, mate. I'm in the doghouse. So I don't know what else to say. I'm saying just good look, I love you, blah, blah, be sure, be sure. You know, I'm telling you the message I'm sending this girl. But I feel like I owe this girl a debt of gratitude. 
helped me out here and she really did help me out mate i was stranded i was stranded right she gave me a lift that's number one right <coughs> number two she's just kind mate she's kind she's african it was like a bit of a connection to africa like all those people like real africans not scammers like she's a doctor mate she's not trying to scam me you know what i mean and there's grace girl i think i'm in a doghouse with her as well because i said to her she's pretty religious right so i was like mate do you think Jonah was in a whale for for three days? She was like, yeah. I was like, what medical school did you go to? I was like, because I didn't go to medical school, but I'm pretty sure that that's not scientifically plausible. But she pulled the magic card, mate. She called, pulled the magic card, mate. She was like, oh, you know, God, God, God can create the world. God can put Jonah in a whale for three days. I'm like, but why would he, mate? Why would God put Jonah in a whale for three days? That sounds silly. So. So then I dropped, I went there and the girls were like, no, 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 you're gonna get murdered. Anyway, so I was fine. I said to you, I'll be fine, mate. No one's gonna do nothing. They're just gonna posture up. Anyway, that's the story. But when I filmed, it got pretty complicated. I didn't film all of it, but uh, I think I filmed to the part where people, where old ladies started threatening to throw things at me and I stopped filming and it got a bit crazy. Westlands Markets. So I'm gonna get some souvenirs here for people. Let's go have a look. Hello. Hey, hey. Jessica's like, how would you feel if I met a doctor and I was helping him to come to Australia. And I'm like, is he six foot six with shoulders for days? Because if he is, I'd be worried. If not, I'm not worried at all. <laughs> so I really annoyed her. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so this is a tourist area, all wood's out. We can't bring wood to Australia, so we can't have wood. How are you, young Hello, man? Hello, how are you? How much is this? These one. These one, this one. This one. This one. Yeah, how much? This one is 3500. 3500? Yeah. Okay. Can I also see my shirt? Yeah. What's this pen? Yeah, it's a pen. Yeah. It's got a t-shirt. Mm. Yeah, I'm just looking. And the price is good for you. You want to know, like, yeah. how much? What can you say? Just looking. Yeah. You went up on India. How long were you in Kenya? Not long. Ah. What special are you looking for? Just looking for souvenir. Just looking. Alright. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello, mate. Welcome to what you have here. Uh, if that price was marked, I would have bought that chest set for sure. Hello. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Enjoy Welcome. your eyes. Hey, how are you? Good, and you? How much is chest set? The chest set? Yeah. That's the size? They go for three, three five. Okay. Three five. I'll take some. Alright. Okay. Do you like? Things I like, like pizzas and beef and cheese. None of that stuff's cheap in the Philippines. None of it, mate. Not even remotely cheap. So I was getting a pizza, right? I'm getting like a soup supreme and a Coke, twelve dollars. I'm down ten kilos, um, so I'm going to the gym today. I need I need to restore my glycogen. Usually I don't eat pizza before I go to a gym. It's the worst idea ever, but because I'm fasted, I've been fasting. So 
And people are like, who should break fast and pizza? No, you shouldn't break fast and pizza. I'll be fine, bro. I'll get some PBs out of it. But it can't be a big pizza, it has to be like a medium pizza. Are you going to carb coma? So, yeah. There's this girl Grace is mad at me. She was like, dude, you don't go to those areas and book into a hotel. You go there, go in and get out quickly. You don't stay there the night. But she was stressed, mate. She genuinely was concerned for my safety. She was like, dude, you can come to my house, mate. Come to my house. I'll pick you up. You're gonna get killed. So yeah, I mean, I told Jessica this is freaking out. That girl was really kind to me though, so I want to show her kindness back. You know, I'm really grateful to that girl. She was, it was really nice meeting them, like, and they were true Africans, like stayed talks they were so funny making me laugh all the tribe stuff and they're arguing about the tribes and oh, whose tribe is better and who stole land it was so funny mate they were like genuine africans so i felt like that meeting them was like a genuine african experience so that was very good thank you so much thank you thank you all right so i got a coke and i got a pizza That's pretty good pizza for 12 bucks. That's all 12 bucks. Australian. So that's probably $8 American. So I had a Coke, so if I want to hit deficit and all these white, I need to go Diet Sprite. But I don't even sell Diet Sprite in Kenya. It's all, um, all diet drinks. I said Diet Coke, and I'm not drinking that. So it's disgusting. Look at these spikes. If someone falls, they're going to fall straight on these spikes, right? It's like the opposite to health and safety. Someone will fall straight on those spikes. Just trip. You could die. You could die. Paralyze yourself. Look at those spikes, man. Crazy. Crazy. I'm souvenir shopping, right? But I'm getting these crazy prices, right? Like, like fifty dollars for a bot lightener and stuff. It's just insane. Like, 150 for a chess set. And things here are cheaper than anywhere else in the world. It's just insane. People don't want to negotiate down. So it's not a fixed price. I'm trying to find a hat that says Kenya or some kind of tourist thing, right? They can't take wood to Australia. They're really strict about it, like super strict. So we're trying to find some souvenirs for people, but uh, it's just not easy, mate. And everyone's hassling me, you know, I don't mind, but I'm not pulling my cash out. I'm not pulling my cash out on the street, buying a souvenir. <laughs> Zero chance. So check it out, it's a 50,000 penalty, or six months in jail, or both, for smoking. So that's $500 and six months in jail for smoking. There you go. <laughs> I love it. See, so now I'm having these jealousy issues with Toledo and this doctor I live with. And uh, so I'm having these just these jealousy issues with Jessica and this doctor got lifted with, right? And the girl's name I got lifted with was Grace. So she's like, I thought you were checking out at 10 and it's 12. And I was like, yeah, I am. But you know, Grace wasn't dressed. You know, she takes a long time to get dressed. Because <laughs> Jessica like messages me and makes me like do a 360 around the room. And she's like, yeah, but there could be a girl under the bed. Oh, God. It's like, oh, my God, Jess, please stop, you know? Anyway, I thought it was funny. So I just gave him a tip, dude. I'm in Africa. I just... These people don't work for much. So we don't usually tip, right? Because we don't tip when we're in Australia. Because everyone earns $25 an hour, right? A minimum wage. These people are not earning much. So... Well, the tax is $2, mate. Like... So you find a couple of dollars, mate, so they can live, you know? Anyway, that's why, how I'm thinking, so... I'm off the non-tipping bandwagon and I'm taking a break and I'm always like anti-tip, anti-tip but in Africa I'm tipping mate because people are lovely and that is a bit of a tip and everybody in the club needs tips so this is a pretty cheap hotel I'm only staying here for a few hours and I'm going to the airport but I checked out 10 so I'm leaving tonight so I thought oh, I'm going to pay for a hotel it was only 30 bucks so I thought I'll just pay $30 for a hotel just for a few hours so I've got someone to rest um, yeah, I'm not wanting around my bags for with my bags for hours. I'm trying to save 30 bucks. So that's razor wire and an electric fence. Double razor wire and electric fence. You wouldn't be allowed to do that in Australia, zero chance. And what that does is that electrifies the razor wire. So they're running the electric fence through the razor wire. So it electrifies the razor wire as well. Hello, how are you? This is a 10 minutes drop. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? This is a shop. 
Oh, it's so water. So when I'm fat, everyone calls me Big Show. But when I'm thin, everyone calls me John Cena, right? So, and even when I'm fat, Apple thinks I'm a different person. And when I'm thin, Apple thinks, so I go these dramatic weight like gains and losses. Uh, no, I just cancel. When I set my company up, I put some weight in as well. I was working crazy hours, right? And I was finding solace in food. And really, you need to find solace in the gym. I was like, oh, this area is safe, this area is safe. Bro, if it was safe, there wouldn't be razor wire everywhere, right? I'm walking, not walking down here at night. So I'm gonna go to the gym, get a drink, go back to my hotel, and then I get a taxi to the airport, and I go to India. So yeah, so I'm gonna go to the most notorious red light district on film. I have to do it in secret, because I, I, I looked at it, but I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna go to that district and film, do a bit of undercover filming. But they get really kinky about, look, I don't think I'll have the same level of threat in India that I will in Africa, right? I'm pretty confident in India. But there is a red light district there and I do want to film because that, that's what gets the views, mate. The red light districts get the views, like, um, because people Google it and then bang, you got subscribers, right? So I say to Jessica, Jessica never wants to go to Soy Cowboy or anything like that. I suggest this and if you want to get subscribers, then the best way to do it is to go to Soy Cowboy. But she's like, nah, I don't want subscribers. I'm like, oh, fair enough. She said, look, if you really want subscribers, you want to make videos that you know people are going to unsubscribe and they watch. You know it. People are going to unsubscribe and they watch. Please thank you. I'm like, that's true. <laughs> so, look, the thing is, I'm not making these videos to make money. I'm making these videos so I was given a five year survival after cancer. So I thought, bro, why not document my life? You know, like, why not document my life? But my, my real life, not some fake shit. My real life, you know what I mean? So that's the story, like traveling and stuff. And I've got, I'm three years. If I can survive the next two, there's a, well, it's probably a year now, right? If I can survive the next year, the chances of surviving are really high, dude. They're really high. So hopefully the cancer will come back in the next year. But if you can make five years after cancer diagnosis, statistically you're gonna make it, like you're gonna live your whole life, right? But we'll see. They were so confident I wouldn't make it. But I was like, brother, you haven't met me. My oncologist, because my oncologist didn't like me. I gave her, I really pissed her off. And she said, you know what, Ian? She goes, I met these good people and they all died. And it's terrible, but you, you're too stubborn to die. <laughs> she said, honestly, she said, when I opened your file, I was like, hmm, that's not good. She said, but then I met you and I was like, oh yeah, he's not dying, is he? This guy's not gonna die. <laughs> that's how Beats her where the bouncer scammed me. Remember that bouncer scammed me? That Beats her, that's where it was. Yeah, he like, took my phone. He said, oh brother, I'm a wrestler. Wanna come to a wrestling club? I was like, yeah. Gave him a phone and he stole money off my SIM card. That's how Beats her, that's where it is. There you go, wow, I'm around the corner for my Beats her. Okay, this is the gym. Let's get the razor wire. <laughs> gym in the history of the world, man. The lift is through, there's eight people, and there's only one, two, three, four, which means I'm the equivalent of five people. It's not good, at least lose weight, right? <laughs> at least lose weight, it was lovely. A eureka moment, I'm gonna go on a diet. This is my moment, mate. I'm gonna go on a diet now, okay? So I can get lifts. All right, let's set a price. I'm not paying up $10 to go to the gym. Maybe 12, or well, 15. Say fifteen dollars, okay? Okay, so this is a gym. Sha. This is my secure gym on the planet, mate. Like it was heaps of security to get in. So yeah. Like quoting Bruce Lee, how good's that? Look at this. Empty your mind and be formless, shapeless, like water. Bruce Lee. This is, uh, this is the cafe at the, um, at the gym. How nice is this? Getting a drink. We're in the middle of the workout, but I had to stop. I, just had to, I was so exhausted. I was like, I need a drink. Can we get a Coke? Get some caffeine. I, I, I'm trying to get that 80 kilos. It's a bit puffed. Check out, this is Nairobi. This is the safe part, man. Not downtown. Kenya is bougie, but it's super cheap, right? Like, every, like, Suni, you know, it's like $9 in my country. And it's like $4 here. Everything's super cheap. Coke, $2, right? Jose, this will be like $7 for a Coke. So, Kenya's bougie, but it's cheap. Terrible workout, right? I was struggling, I was struggling with everything. Um, but I'll get a Coke in, you watch what happens. When I get a Coke, it's gonna be like Superman, mate.
a Coca-Cola, full sugar Coca-Cola. Uh, the people go, it should be that. Uh, dude, it works, I'm telling you. Oh, here it is. Whoa. Thank you. Uh, how, how bougie is that? I've got a lemon. Poorly poured, but... Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Arabia, right? I'll just show you around once more. So check it out. Check the view out. Panoramic view. Check out this tower. So I'm just going to a real cheap $30 hotel until I leave. Just a few hours. So I'm finished my workout. Go back and get it on. Bloody legends have given me a glass of ice to take to the gym. That's so good, dude. That's so good. What here is warm for the ice brother. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't Yeah, this is this gangster view of Nairobi at the gym So this gym was $5, right? And uh, I drank two cokes, I was exhausted, mate I was exhausted from fasting But one meal today I know three cokes is not the best, but I was just, the gym's not air conditioned, I was just exhausted. So I knew I could like bust out some lifts, do chest. So I did chest and clean jokes, I usually do them both on the same day. But you never know, I don't know what the gym situation will be like in India. And it's gonna be easier to train back in India than it is chest, right? So there you go, Nairobi. Nairobi, brother. Let's go for a, let's go for a wonder, mate. Let's go for a wonder. Just go walk about, mate. Go walk about. Danger at 415 volts. I wonder what that means. This guy is Luya as well, the tribe we paid the dowry to. And uh, he invited me to his house. He's like, come stay with me, brother. Come stay with me. I was like, yeah, yeah. He's a nice guy, right? Nice guy. I won't be staying at his house, but um, really nice guy. Oh, guys, please subscribe, share if you like. And hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.